Oh, it would probably help if I, you know, actually unmuted my mic. Hopefully I can be heard. My reactive does not seem to be doing anything. Again, I don't know what's been going on with my reactive as of late. Because it should be responding to it, but you know, who knows? I don't know what's happening. Because my input volume is at its highest. Testing. Test. 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 Testing. Test. Why does Why it, does drop, it drop, drop like that? Uh, wow. wow. What? What? What the? the Why is it Why cutting? Is it? Oh, oh, I wonder. I wonder if it's because of me. Okay. Uh, filters. I wonder if it's that. Because I talk so loud natively. Let's see. What if I reduce the input volume? That way it's not spiking so hard. Okay, as always, have to do some fixing. Okay, can I... Is this even working? I feel like this isn't even working. So let's see, that... Okay, that's slightly spiking. I'm gonna turn the music down a bit more. I don't know if I can be heard. Oh, I can be heard. And hello, Jack Lantern. Sorry, we're doing the fun dice thing. Okay, so my audio is coming through, but my reactive PNG is not ringing. Why? I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, let me go to studio mode and see if I can fix it. I doubt it, because Fugi acts weird. Um, refresh. Okay. Nope, still not working. I don't know if Fugi's just down or not, but I... We're just gonna leave it like that for right now. Um, everything else is working for the most part. <laughs> so I'm not gonna mess with it any further, but... Hi guys! So yes, yeah, so everything looks a little different because I am going to be painting today as I used to do. Um, so as you can see, most of you'll see is my hands, and this is what we're working on, or I'm working on, is this bust. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do more bust paintings on stream, like bigger ones today, so it's easier to see. And also, because bust painting is a really good practice, um, a lot of my bench stuff, I think I'm just gonna go back to it just being for me, and do it that way. Um, I figured these would be fun projects. I have a variety, so the first set I'm gonna do is the Capricorn. Um, and then, you guys have probably seen it before, it's been a long while, um, but I have this Death Knight as well. Um, I've had this one printed for a while. I think its hand comes off, but it's currently stuck on there. Um, and then recently, because um, I'm still collecting STLs like a hoarding dragon, um, I recently printed out this Minthara. Um, the first of what would probably be a, a fair amount of Baldur's Gate related prints. As you can see, her print is a little messy in places, but she's got all these really fine details and textures on her. Looking forward to doing that. I have some ideas, but we're going to start with something a little, not basic, but a little easier, a little simpler. You know, having to the bubble t-shirt. Oh, um, that one, so I still have that PNG, I believe. Um, the bubble tea, the bubble tea reptar costume trick, I'm going to use occasionally. Um, I just wanted to go back to my old one for a little bit because I haven't used it in a while. Um, and I'm presently working on a new updated one, slowly. Uh, so that one will come back. I'll probably start using it, um, again relatively soon once I'm back into kind of the swing of things since I've been away for streaming for like two, three months now. Probably longer. It feels way longer. It's probably not that long. But um, that will come back and pop up here and there. Um, that may become my default uh, 
that one will probably the bubble tea one probably become my de default um fugi tech one because um i'd like to switch to using video tuber um for my png uh so, so i can have a little more flexibility with stuff but um we'll see like so i'm trying to take things slow and get you back into it and i have a lot more free time so i can explore things do kind of things i want which is what i'm looking forward to but anyway i'm good to painting so i'm gonna start out i've been doing the i've been practicing this a bit with other painting project with some other painting projects and i'd like to do it more because i like the results so i'm gonna use i'm gonna be using a odd technique for um painting skin so instead of just starting with like a brown or this and this is primed this way so i can map could map out where my highlights were um but i believe the technique starts with the v and i never pronounce it correctly so i need to like look at the word uh it is called the verdaccio technique where you, you base with green oh did i just close twitch i'm an idiot there we go Hey, Ez! So we're gonna go ahead and get our paint going. Also, yes, my PNG is not laying up. I'm aware of this. I don't know why it isn't. Um, I sometimes I know Sugi Tech has a history of just not working properly sometimes at random, and it was working earlier. You know, a stream isn't a stream without some kind of scuff, especially in the beginning. That's why it's another reason why I want to move to using Video Tuber, but I'd like to have a new PNG designed around using that software. Um, so that's gonna take some time, given my uh, precollection for being slow as shit when it co oh god comes to making art. So this is why I don't like primarily why I don't like. Um... Yeah, I, thing is, I went because I switched mics. I'm using my headset mic since I can't bring the desk mic over to where the painting station's set up, um, and everything. Like, Discord is registering it and everything, um, but for some reason, um, Fugi Tech has decided it was going to be a pain, and I didn't want to sit, spend another 20 minutes wrestling with it, even though I spent 20 minutes wrestling with it earlier today. So, uh, we're here. Uh, I spilled a bunch of paint. I've been having that with a lot of my paint cups. Yeah, once I get myself situated for, day for Video Tuber, it should be a lot easier and a lot less of a headache for me but that's in the future so the first thing i'm gonna do i should probably close the window i forgot it's open that way you guys don't hear what's going on outside and can remove some of the weird uh reverb slash wind background noise even though i did do some tuning uh over the weekend of my audio settings so i have some filters on that should help with my audio quality so I'm going to use this, what's called Refracted Green, to go ahead and get his skin painted. Basically, I'm using a desaturated green to paint skin. This will serve as the base layer for the skin tone, which will be close to an albino, natural albino skin tone, which I was experimenting with before with this project. And then I was painting so inconsistently, I just... Jeez, was that from the music? That scared me. Whatever that laugh was. Anyway, I thought, um, yes, I was painting this in like natural albino skin tone, and I'm gonna do the same. It's just, um, my last job was draining me so much. Um, I was having no time to paint, having no energy for things. I quit, so I take a massive, basically a pretty solid pay chunk because it's a part-time job but i've been feeling a lot better since doing that I'm having i have more energy for things i actually am accomplishing a lot more in the last like two weeks than i have in months 
so... It's been a good change for me. It's gonna be rough for a bit as I am working as many hours as I can. I, um, and then, um, but the pay cut means stuff around the house is gonna be a bit tighter, especially on my end. Just being, proving to be an adjustment. I'm gonna do all I can to make sure I keep pulling my weight.
Oh, it'd probably help if I wasn't muted. Ah, okay. What? Now it's suddenly working. Okay. Have I just been... Have Did I just mute my mic this whole time? Weird, because I was talking earlier. It's not recognized by switch. Okay. Weird. Okay. It popped up that time. I don't know. I, I think I need to restart Discord. I'm going to quit. So my uh, PNG will disappear for a second. Let's see if I can't fix this. Again. Go away. Okay. Let me reconnect to that. And then let's see if it recognizes that. Probably not, but... Alright, I'm in the streaming channel. Discord's recognizing I'm talking. Okay. This is bizarre. I don't know what's happening. And I've broken my PNG. <laughs> Whoops. There it is. Still not working. Cool. Unless something's up with Fugi. But it was it glowed and bounced earlier. It's so weird. Because, like, I wonder... Uh-oh, it's not working now. You guys can hear me, but... Why is this suddenly not working? What the? Why is this suddenly not working? Okay. Now, it recognizes it? Huh? Okay. Something's wrong with it's okay. So as as seems to be on the right foot, but it's something with Discord. I don't know what, but Discord doesn't seem to be liking my. don't understand what is happening. Let me see. I wonder if it's just this channel. Yes, I'm gonna switch channels. Okay. It's the channel. Something's wrong with my channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? What is wrong with this channel? I don't... Okay. Something's wrong with the channel I was sitting in. Okay. Well, that makes me sad. Alright, well, at least... The problem, again, was something relatively simple. Yeah, at least figured out. Okay, I think... Okay, for some reason, I have to... I'm gonna have to make a new channel, because apparently my streaming room is broken. <laughs> but, hey, it's fixed now. And that's given me time to allow this paint to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and start our next coat. 
which is going to be the first of the actual flesh colors we build up on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. And I'm going to leave kind of areas where shadowing would be. At least try to anyway. Or hard, hard shadow, basically like painting the ambient inclusion in. For anyone familiar with that kind of 3D term. I'm trying to keep my coats relatively thin. So all the colors bleed through and influence each other, which is not easy to do. So weird that something with the Discord room.
fuse these two. Okay, it doesn't seem to be fully dry in places. Like there's a couple of spots on the top of his head and in his mouth, so I need to dry those before we put more paint on. The paint's just gonna run and smear and be generally unpleasant. I just heard a Discord ping and I don't know why. I can't look at Discord right now. Just dropped this thing with bottles and other crap in it. Cool. Because my part of the office is uncontained and I make a mess everywhere. Something I really need to work on. Ugh. Containing this disaster zone. Alright. All right. I have my heat gun. Yes, I own a heat gun. In case you didn't know, I also 3D print, which is why I have lots of weird ass tools. I don't need it to be excessively hot.
Okay. I guess it does not like when I mute my mic for an extended period of time and just will randomly kick me. That is so annoying. Excuse me, waking more noises. <laughs> Just slightly itchy. this room. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with my streaming room. And I honestly don't know what's wrong with it. Can I sit? Okay, wait, no, it's working. Is Discord just fucking with me? I mean, it probably is, but anyway. Oh, I left a screwdriver on the ground with somebody like me can step on it and stab themselves. Cool. Anyway. Ugh. Anyway, okay, well, dealing with that apparently gave me time to let this dry, so I'm just going to skip to the next, we're just going to go right into the next step. Probably dry brushing. This is basically a palette here. This is how I'm going to build up my skin. Hopefully not knock it, also not knock, also knock it off the blue sack, because have to be pretty aggressive with this. Pause. Do give myself a stretch. Thank you, Jack. Oh.
I think I'm accidentally knocking it off the blue tag a little bit. That's okay. Funny is this color is called elf skin tone.
Yep, it's... God damn it. It's an issue with the speed paint, is it sometimes will reactivate on broad flat surfaces. I don't know why it does that. And it's rather irritating. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to stop doing that because I'm apparently triggering the reactivation issue. And we're just going to have to do it this way. Not thrilled with it, but whatever, I guess.
You liquid green stuff. Yes, I have liquid green stuff. to you. I mean, I know I was kind of talking to you like literally an hour ago on Discord. That stuff sucks though. It It is crappy. Um, I usually find I have to do like two or three coats with green, liquid green stuff to fill anything. But honestly, there's... I've switched like full on... Get, I find it helps with my 3D prints a lot. Um, with like getting smoothing out small imperfections from like removing supports and stuff but that's i pretty much use it to like get to smooth out like small cuts and whatnot but yeah it's not a good gap filler i have milliput for that Yeah, as far as like a putty, the green stuff, liquid, especially liquid green stuff, sucks in a lot of applications, but I have found at least some minor use for it, that's why I keep buying it. Because like, doing small gap fills with like milliput or any kind of sculpting epoxy, I am not good at it. I find it a complete and colossal pain in my ass and waste of material. <laughs> God, I hate layer. I hate layer painting. That's why I don't do it. I usually dry brush, but it seems like it didn't want to do it. So that's why I'm doing this. Just to finish up this layer. It should go on a lot easier or smoother once as I build up the layers. But for right now, this first skin coat is being very temperamental. I tried using Tamiya putty to fill in the acrylic. Yikes. I've never used Tamiya stuff. People, um, I always hear people like praise it like it's God's gift to miniature skull or miniature hobbies. And some people just absolutely don't like it. But also, like, there's not many, there's hardly anyone who carries Tamiya near me. I think there's one shop that actually has like a decent Tamiya stock because they carry Gunpla. But it's like, it's far enough away where I don't go and shop there when I need supplies. 
And by the time I think about it, I've already restocked with the stuff I am comfortable with, so. One of these days, I get around to it, or maybe some of the tomato stuff just magically appears on my desk, and I'll be forced to use it. But until then... I stick with what I know. As archaic as that sounds. Oh, in this case, it was Missy the Tool, but I still don't like it. Huh. That's a bummer. I don't I haven't even tried... I haven't even tried, like, sculpting with, um, Milliput. I have a, um, one of the statue projects I have on deck after I'm done with Hell, or I have on deck is Alucard is Next for my statue painting projects. Um, if you're not aware of that, it's, you can follow it on my Instagram. I haven't posted an update in a while, but I'll get to it soon. Hell's about halfway painted. I started working on her base recently. And yes, I'm aware of the 3D print line show, but that's kind of on purpose. Partially unintentional, partially on purpose. I think I've got this smoothed out, just about smoothed out. But yeah, um, the, anyway, the Alucard base, I printed one of the crow statues on it, didn't print its beak properly. So the be beak is missing, and I've been contemplating re-sculpting the beak, because it'd be stupid to reprint the model. It's completely an FDM. The rest of the model is pretty much fine, aside from the uh, support cleanup I gotta do. Um, so I'm not going to attempt a reprint on it, because that's just silly. But I thought about re-sculpting the beak, um, but I was like, I don't want to do that because oh, this is not a good thing to practice on. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it kind of looking decayed and then decorate it up. Decorate up the base a little bit or, to add some flair to it. But one of these days, I'll find something I actually want to, like, you know, sit and sculpt. One of these days. Yeah, I just need to get this mix. This recent start doing epoxy. He's feeling that really Oh, that's good, Dinesh. I just used epoxy. Yeah. I haven't really delved too much into base work lately. I've kind of stepped away from it just because, again, I have my last job. That I just recently left a few weeks ago. Um, apparently, it was draining me so badly. Um, I mean, my boss was basically bullying, has been bullying me from day one. But I kind of, I put up with it because I was like, this is a well-paying job. I can work around this. But it, it was trying. I was affecting my health in a way, to the point like I caught COVID from a completely unrelated thing. I hurt my back like the week before, and then I slipped and fell again at work. And then and while I was out sick with COVID, I just had it on, I was like, this is not worth, this is not worth it, especially because my department head, the head of my department didn't want to help, and the principal didn't want to help. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll take the lead's advice, which was to transfer somewhere else, and I transferred somewhere else, outside of where I worked, outside of the place I worked for. So yeah. And I think it's the first time I've basically quit with no notice, but I wasn't about to give them more of my time. I was like, no, I'm going to get out of here. I had luckily already basically lined up another job, which I've been working the last few weeks, and it's been much nicer. Much, much nicer. I have more time for things. I'm feeling a lot better. It's been a much better change. The money part, not so much, but I'm working on getting that fixed as soon as possible. Because the job change was a massive cut to my pay and my income. So that's something I'm working on as quickly as possible to resolve. 
Okay, goddamn. I hate later painting. You get all the popcorn. <laughs> nah, luckily they actually let me have fresh popcorn. Um, I don't get, have to eat the floor popcorn. I get the fresh. Pop I get to have fresh popcorn. Um, but actually, I work. Uh, hilariously, I work custodial at the movie theater. There's a brand new department they opened up, literally two weeks old. So I'm basically helping re uh, helping build this department. Um, but I work early in the morning and then come home before noon. Um, we just get everything set up for the day and it's going really well. Um, I'm working on getting stuff, getting things organized so they know what they get, get it rolling so it basically operates itself and takes off the pressure off myself, the team, all that. Floor Pop is extra seasoning. That's fine. I don't need the extra seasoning. All right, let's see here. Oh, goody. I got a... I think with that, I'm going to do one more dry brush to smooth out some areas. But I'm going to use my smaller dry brush because that will be better. That's going to go. Let me use my smaller dry brush though. It's nice that we can go back to starting to see movies again, which I kind of missed. Which I have definitely missed doing is having... <laughs> Those kind of social outings. Not that I could, just no time or money most of the time. Out these hard lines. You don't even care. <laughs> Especially around the face. Definitely want this. I like soft lines on organic material.
Okay. Oh, that just leaked out. Okay, cool. Um, try this again. Hopefully this doesn't leak as much.
gonna do some filleting. Okay, I think that looks bad. Loading is mostly done. Right. Oh crap, I just knocked a bunch of my paints over. Hold on, I have to pause real quick because it is cat treat time, so I have to go find the gutter. So I will be back momentarily. <laughs> have been given their treats. They both heard the treat bag and like ran out and then sat down all polite, waiting their turns. Sometimes they can be good kitties and then sometimes they're, most times they're a pain in the butt, but I love them. Beans and Satsuki are the best. I wish I could do a cat cam, but they don't sit in one place. Beans is a very active little dude. He's only like eight months old. And then Satsuki is like, eight years old, but sometimes she'll nap in here and other times she will not. So I haven't really invested in a cat cam because a lot of times they don't sit in the office while streaming. Yes. So I'm painting the goat man's nipples. They bothered to sculpt them on there. They're gonna make them visible for all to see. There. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna grab one more paint to go with 
what we just painted. Where did I put? There, that one. Ugh. this paint over just the nips. That way. Alright, and I think that's gonna do it for the skin part of this project. That went a lot faster than I expected it to, to be honest. But that on by now and I, I'm liking it a lot better than the first time I did it. Unfortunately, I didn't really save any pictures of it, but uh, didn't Verdaccio actually it seems to have helped with the shadows because they're not so one toned? I mean, you can basically see the pink, but in some of the darker areas, you can actually still see the green, which I like. I'm trying to be more colorful instead of just plain, not black and white, but plain dark, just basic of dark light. I want to be there to be a little more liveliness to my painting so i've been working on that and getting there it takes some effort with the miniatures and stuff i'm a little more not as focused on that uh, but trying to find more creative ways to paint or more unique ways to paint but find my own style and also make my stuff kind of stand out more as just me but i think we're gonna call that good um so Next time, um, um, for now I'm going to do painting about once a week, and then we'll see how that goes, and if I continue to have energy for it and whatnot, then I will, um, make, try to squeeze in more days, but as it is now, this was actually quite nice, um, and I'm surprised I went for as long as I did. Last time I could only, like, muscle, squeeze in, like, 45 minutes an hour streaming painting. I've almost done two hours, which is nice, um, and I don't feel fatigued at all. I had a lot of fun and got quite a bit done. It feels like I actually got something done, which my intention was to just paint his skin. Um, tomorrow is kind of is just gonna be a hangout night. I'm gonna be playing some games. I think Zenless, I'll play some of those night speed freak. Some other kind of just those kind of games where I just kind of pop in and play for a bit and then move on to something else. And then Thursday, I'll be playing. I'll be finishing up Parasite Eve um, and then deciding what I play after that. Um, and then, because I, I said this before, I lost my template schedule, my schedule template, so I'm using just the Twitch one to write my schedule. I post it on my Discord, if you're not on my Discord, um, you should be. You can see all the Karina, chat with me, see pictures of my cats, all that, all some, some kind of nonsense. It's a very laid back, chill, and quiet community for right now. Um, so, that's, that's the thing, but um, I thank you guys for tuning in with me. Um, we're gonna go find some dried. I'm gonna switch screens, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you on whichever stream you catch next. And of course, keep an eye out for more painting. There should be another one next week. I'll just have to decide what the day is on based on my schedule. Um, but it is nice to be back to doing this, and I'm finding I really am glad I have the time and energy to come back to painting. But I'm going to switch screens now and send you all on a raid. So I'm going to turn that light off and off we go. You guys take care and I'll see you all next time.
Kufi and die over there a lot. Uh, and I'm pretty sure she has a shot collar strapped to her leg still. Um, what the fuck? Which is just really funny. That is funny. Um, I'm pretty sure she would have it on her neck.